Hey guys, John Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of Nier Automata. So last time we went through uh, the tower with 9S. I'm sure we did some other stuff too, but that's the most important thing. And now we've switched over to uh, A2. 9S is in trouble. He's basically lost his mind and uh, almost was enjoying stabbing 2B, which is... You know, a little weird. A little bit weird there. Uh, but we did go and... I mean, we did go see if we could upgrade any things, right? Um, small swords. That is way stronger. Beast Roar, we might switch to that one. The Phoenix Dagger... Endurance up, finish blast, blast. Your issue blade, machine sword, engine blade, cypress stick. Probably go with the beast bane, because overall it has a higher... It just does more damage overall. It doesn't have the bullet rupture, but maybe that's not super important. And the beast roar seems decent. And it, you do, you have a higher defense. Attack speed up is huge. Um, again, I mean, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, probably just stick with a virtuous treaty. Because, yeah, attack speed up is is super important. I mean, you could do you could do this, but these overall do far less damage. It's it's like a small weapon. But those, eh, you know, those are fine. Those are fine. Um, I guess we're gonna go to the uh... right. We can't go into the recon or uh, coliseum. Yeah, I mean... That thing right there, I really wanted to pick it up, but it'll be alright. That's cool, we can shoot that. Um, I assume we have scanner. Yeah, missile or laser. Laser's decent. Probably go with... Uh, Volt is not impressive. It doesn't seem to work all the time. Probably Bomb. Bomb seems to be the best. And Laser is the... Uh, if you want to hit things from a distance, that's the way to go. Not, not quite sure why the camera panned up to that. I mean, I know that's the tower. We're just going to kind of... Wander around this side, there's no enemies anymore, and, um... It's open, though, which is weird. Is that Popola and Devola? Yeah, that's sad. So, Pop... Popol is dead. And Devola is dying, I suppose. Well. Kind of poor timing for a meal. Did we help? Yeah, you did. She's gonna say, I see. And then Emil's out there, driving by like a weirdo. It's like they're having this moment and then you just hear like a car go by selling insurance or something.
saving as possible. Nice butt. I'm reasonably certain this is going to be the C ending-ish. C-ish ending. And presumably all we have to do is get to where 9S is and see what happens, I guess. Yep. Result of 9S coming through the area. That's true. I'm still impressed that that one body was just falling over and over again. That was kind of crazy. And hilarious. Oh, it's kind of a weird space, though. Oh, is the body falling again? Yep. Aha! I just clicked. Uh, we'll retrieve. What happens if we repair? It's probably not going to come back. We'll just retrieve it. Shockwave weapon attack up. And that is where there's another Yorha corpse. Uh. Oh, we can't save right now. Interesting. Oh, we've already passed the point where we could. That's fine then. So this is where 9S was, right? Where is he? <laughs> Yeah. Meteorite. Excellent. She's like, someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. I mean, that's not... I don't know what she said. She said, Daro, na? Which is like, probably something along the lines of, of course. And I assume this is where the... Where the 2B copy exploded. And presumably, if you need meteorites, you just keep coming through here. I wonder what the unlock requirements for the last route are going to be. It's really hard. I'm trying to avoid spoilers online, which is partly why I'm trying to record as many... Like today, when, I'm, when I have a day off, that I can, because... They're starting to talk about near the remake. I don't remember reincarnation or whatever it's called. Near reincarnation, and uh, they're like, "This is how it's linked to near automata." Blah blah blah. And I'm just like, I don't want to know anything. Sorry if that was loud. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know spoilers. I still can't get over the new Kaine, though. It doesn't look... Maybe it's Uncanny Valley. Maybe that's the problem. But it looks like a... I know in in the game, Kaine, her, uh, her human, was supposed to be very beautiful, like a model or something. I don't quite remember, but... Um, it, it, she looks... She looks like one of those tiny Korean pop stars in the new one. You're just like, you are not going to be able to kick anyone's ass. Right? Whereas the old style, she had like a stronger chin. She looked like a... She was pretty, but she looked... You look at the face and you're like, yeah, she could probably kick someone's ass because of the rage. Like Chuck Norris, you know? Chuck Norris. Two settings, walk and kill. Or two speeds, or, I don't know, I screwed that one up. Well, Ninus is not around, which means he is still alive. My, uh, one of my favorite Chuck Norris facts 
is... Oh, we can save now. Let's save. Now that we have the meteorites. Uh, when Chuck Norris makes coffee, he grinds the beans with his teeth, and he boils the water with his rage. That's a good one. It's maybe my favorite. Also, uh... Chuck Norris plays racquetball with a bowling ball and a waffle iron. All right. Into this door. Ooh. The near library. Even the music! I wonder if we go through that door. Mm. You notice the glowing thing over there. It's not like an item. It is something special. Another meteorite. Can we climb the ladder? No. But there is a second floor, though. Uh, one of the uh, Popola or Devola, whichever one didn't sing, had her office up there. And of course, oh, can we open the door? All right, before we do anything, that's something special. I want to go get the chests. <sighs> I don't know what the triggers are. Can I see a map? There is no map. All right. Probably have to. Oh wait, is that um? No, there's probably a corridor through that underneath. The the Kine door. Man it. Right. This was a trophy room or something in the original, right? Like as you fought battles and stuff, they would appear here, the bosses. That's weird. So what's the link? Right, and this was the office. We're also walking. We cannot run. Alright, well, uh, so first, I guess, oh, we have multiple glowing things up here. Probably lore related. We'll check those out. And they're handing out the meteorites. I have no problem with that, though. And this is floating above. Nice. Whoa. Okay. So, looks like we have to go up and over. Why would there be a representation of this place from near? Library index, atom unit storage record, Eve unit storage record. So it is kind of a library. Your her communications interception. Yeah, record. Your her server record. Human human server. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's up on the moon. Human server establishment record. Human heritage preservation record. Tower system summary. Tower subsystem summary. Special units creation record. Plant species preservation and animal species preservation. So this is but library index ports. I, well, I assume the ports are more like... Like they're not actually communicating to external servers as much as they are... Ports... Areas within this. It's like, probably like shelf. You know, in this area, it's this record. It's this, it's this. Weird. So what is this place?
機械生命体にとっての情報収集装置みたいだな。You know, right, it said something along those lines in that one flyer, but I assumed, well, I didn't know if it was talking about data or materials, because the whole resource thing, right? They were transmitting to here, and they were talking about, oh, you know, it's androids are converted and blah, 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 blah. So. All right, we have enemies in this one. Presumably. I, have to... I assume I have to destroy these blocks because they are by themselves. Yeah, this music is really nostalgic, though. Okay, 19 port whatever human server records. Outline predicted human server infiltration route release. Right, okay, so the moon server. Dummy protection installation, SG block, GI block, SF block, genetic storage warehouse. Location information. They did say they sent off all of the replicant, remaining replicant data, so basically I mean, potentially human DNA. Maybe. But I get the impression this is something else. I know that sounds weird, and I'm probably wrong, but it this library doesn't feel like it's machine oriented. Then again, maybe they did. Aha! It's the bigger ones, presumably. Oh, class one patient health record. Yona, chest X-ray, no abnormalities. Heart echo, no abnormalities. Continuing chronic renal failure, that's bad. Convulsive seizures in the diaphragm. No vomiting because of four milligrams of luciferase. I think that's an actual drug. I don't, normally we give, well, I think Zofran is the uh, trade name. And what's the other one? Luciferous is it or luciferase is a generic term for the class of oxidative enzymes that produce bioluminescence and is usually distinguished from a photoprotein. The name was first used by Raphael Dubois, who invented the words luciferin and luciferous for the substrate and enzyme, respectively. Both words are derived from the Latin word Lucifer, meaning light bearer. Yeah, the morning star. Um, that's all. What is Zofran? Generic name Ondensetron hydrochloride. Okay. So they gave her that, which is presumably the same photoluminescence, which I assume is the same thing that jellyfish have or um, bioluminescence. I mean, that's weird. Preservation plan. Patient's condition makes further treatment impossible. A report, report will be submitted to the management committee detailing courses of action in the event of the patient's death, focusing primarily on how that information is to be manipulated with respect to the original. Yeah, because, you know, he's the whole, if Yona's his reason to live. 
As backup in the event of a sudden worsening in the patient's condition, she is assigned to be assigned five additional doctors. Oh, there's a new one. That's why they swung the camera around. Oh, and the slow walk. Her, A2, model number two. That's unexpected. We didn't even get to the go to the uh Kainese thing. Oh, he's missing his arm. See, machines do feel pain. Creepy, a little bit, but he's going to use her arm for his. I didn't know you could do that, but okay. around percent. Yep, checking the arm. That's important. Alright, well let's um some gold, I was... Ooh, hello. Project Guest Shelter Report 11. Alright, let's check that out as soon as we grab this. We can't see where we are, but... Well, who knows. I mean, we got blown... No one knows where, potentially through the floor. Shaved, saved, shaved machine records, library index, human server records, class one patient health record. Right. We never read this one. After the descent of the first, or wait, after the first descent of the Yorha prototypes attacker, A2 was the sole unit to return alive despite mediocre results during her simulations. Upon analysis of her stored personality data, it was discovered she possesses excellent analytical and decision-making skills in extreme circumstances. As reported separately, we will install this personality data in the lot, in the new lot of E models, and use them for the security protection of this project. It's kind of messed up to know that your thoughts are being used to create assassins. All right. Summary. Due to the relapse of the original... I mean, he didn't really relapse. He was... Or... Relapse is... when the Black Scrawl appears, right? Or is relapse, um... self-awareness? Regardless, 
replicant near killed uh, the actual original near. I mean, sort of killed his soul anyway. Geshalt units in preservation are now relapsing at an accelerated rate because they don't have his particles to keep sane. Near Grimoire Near was really weird to read, but it's interesting. The process of recording their bodies and gathering the DNA continues, but progress is poor. New countermeasures and development intended to serve as a replacement to Project Gestalt are scheduled to be transferred to the Next Generation Preservation Project Preparation Committee. As for this report, it will serve as the final record of both Project Gestalt and the committee. For information about the development plans for new Android models and the refinement of existing models, please refer to the attached sheet. Furthermore, we have received approval to consider the disposal of the Devola and Popola Observer models at a later date. So... Right, these are probably... There's a higher committee of androids or possibly uh you know the the humans that were still sane because of OG near so who knows who knows novel yep devil and popola's memories yep uh, remember is the same model all that was left to them was the stigma of being labeled rampant androids which is silly but okay unable to endure further persecution they began their long march to a city located a great distance away leaning upon each other burdened with an unforgivable sin you know and I was gonna say like that but people believe stuff that's not true all the time just look at the news and how fake I guess for lack of a better word it's all about the narrative people don't care about actual truth so all right 9s yep and he's got her arm or i guess it's not her it's a copy okay so where is this now well there's an actual ground which is kind of cool Ranch Charon. I believe we've seen his other uh, body from him before. Uh, ruthless Android laughed at the enemy's strength at a closed theater. And it doesn't... That's not important. It doesn't actually tell you where they died. Because I died plenty of times and it was like... In a... Yeah, become your ally? Yeah, right. How long until you die? Or turn on me? It would be interesting, though, if because I'm part rogue android or whatever they're like yeah okay you're cool black 22 flack i wasn't myself in days of sand all right since the other one's not turning on me just yet it'll wait till the proper moment i assume oh These are the ones we were seeing. Oh. So it is the Council of the Moon. But those were... I mean, the Red Girls, Assassins. Potentially the original Popola and Devolo, or at least, you know. I mean, maybe they had original humans, and uh, I don't know. But regardless, it's the Council of the Moon. And that's what we were seeing at the end of the, the B ending. Destroy all the machine life forms. Are here.
Ah! Oh, that was a close one. Oh, I guess... No, they're still with us. turn on me now or not yet? Is it open now? Oh, they're back though. Oh, there's more enemies. Wait, wait, wait. Can we shoot them now? Because they're... Wow, that was impressive. Wait, what was that? Some sort of shockwave? Okay. 80% of all archives found. Top secret, Yorha disposal. So was this the plan from the beginning? This is Yorha plan. Well, tell me. I don't know. Conceptual... Okay, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's just using the voice of the moon. Conceptual human personalities formed within the machine network. All right, well, let's read this. Yorha Disposal. The following materials document the final stages of the Yorha Project. Note this information is classified as level SS, meaning must not be disclosed to anyone involved in the Yorha Project, including the commander of the bunker. Project 30-1. Disposal of Yorha. The back door of the bunker has been set to open once the time approaches to switch to new models when enough combat data has been collected. The bunker will be disposed of by having it be deliberately attacked by machines. At this time, all materials regarding the Yorha project, including this document, will be lost. Falsification of the information that mankind still resides on the moon will be complete. Falsification of the information. Well, that's okay because I guess they want to protect themselves so they're just gonna not that not that mankind does actually live on the moon but they want to take the moon out of it the moon what do you no one knows about no that's silly right that way they're protected still presumably so it's part of But, okay, so this whole point, I mean, I guess that means the machines were created by humans, or maybe by, I mean, I guess, right? So the aliens, so I guess it was fake that the aliens were using machines. Emil said there was a war with aliens. And the machines... Where we heard that the machines were created by aliens was from Yorha, but also Adam and Eve, who were connected to this, presumably. And lied to, 
ultimately. So I assume this was the plan from the beginning, or kind of. Maybe not losing Adam and Eve. So what? When new models were ready. So they have... Or I guess the new models were Adam and Eve, right? Once they were able to be created. What was... Oh, yep. Hmm. Okay, so the library is over there. And this is another boss, presumably. Uh, you know... Oh, yeah... Oh, oh, wow. Destroy all the man the tower. Sure. I mean, you could take down the network. You could hack the moon. Whoa, they dodge. I mean, you can hack the server on the moon and take it down, and then that would destroy everything, right? Tuna breath. Uh, yeah. Whoa, that's... They don't do a lot of damage, but... And presumably it's not just the flight units. Presumably it's, uh, ow. I think there's actual androids inside. Oh, yeah, it falls from... Uh... I think so. It's really hard to see. Mess with the best, die like the rest. That's interesting. I mean, I wonder if that's the real story, though. Alright, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna have visual cure, yeah. Oh, I thought I saw... Can I get closer and see? Ow. Uh... Yeah, there's some... It's wearing the... It's wearing the... The heavy-duty gear. But why would you dispose of your hut? I, well... Yeah, there you go. That was even even better. Um... Wow, good hit. Alright, Tuna Breath. Unremarkable Soldier Shot Machine. Cover the skies of a fake city. Fight you. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you want, though, units to protect you? Well, they probably... I don't know. Then again, I guess, if the machines are under their control and no one knows about them, then it doesn't matter. What's this? We're gonna take the flight unit, I suppose. Will it actually respond? I mean, is it not under control as well? It's probably a tool. Oh, 
the top floor. Oh, now it's open. Okay. Interesting. The, uh... Oh, yeah, save. Let's save. Uh, it's the flight... music. The... Recovery capacity is full. There's a chest over here. Let's get that first. Power part L. Excellent. Some sort of podium in the middle. And what I thought was like a staircase or something over here, but... Nope, it's just the podium. All right, then. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Another great... This music is so great. The Koshi again. Oh. So... <laughs> So was the machines all along. So I guess they fabricated... slow down because of all the copies. So why would they why would the machines even bother creating Yorha in the first place? Oh so we just have to dodge. It's like running a bunch of programs on your computer, the more, you know... 
Or, well... When you're... Okay, so the... So the aliens did leave machines behind. So So it's going crazy. That makes sense. Uh. It's like the get. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for... That was... There we go. Unit data updated. So it's not destroyed yet though, right? Was that all... Oh. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, ouch. A slow one. A leak of the enemy's memories? Oh. There's 9S. So 
So they're both after the same thing, basically. Very epic. I'm gonna switch to nine S again in a second. Yep. Was precious, so we'll destroy you too. That seems fair. I mean, that's what those things were sending, but they're ow, but they were sending it to the moon, right. Still, uh, can't fire the missiles yet. Now we can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, they're behind me. Well, get to that in a second. That was not very nice. So the machines just want to evolve, I guess. So maybe they did kill the aliens. Existential stuff here going on. I 
I'm probably overleveled. Oh, right. Right on. Oh. Why would you do that again? You're just like 2B. Oh. He's still gonna stab her at the end though, I think. Whoa. Kochi and Roshi. Whoa. Oh, I just switched back and forth between them, huh? Well, let's see if we can do some damage while we're 9B. This is awesome, by the way. Uh-oh, we're about to screw this up. Oh, Jack, now's not the time. I love you and I see you, but now is not the time. jumped in front of the monitor and then he's like staring right at me. I'm like, no, no, Jack. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. I love you. Do you know this? Uh, I need to think about this more. So at least according to this thing, machines were created by the aliens, but I don't think that's true because there's amusement parks. You know, I mean, it, it makes sense that the machines or like it was an alternate project at first and then the aliens co-opted some of it our alternate project to uh, Project Gestalt. And maybe the aliens co-opted the machines and gave life to them or something. But I, I don't know. I guess it's, it's a huge gaping plot hole, at least for now. Listen, you're adorable, but you are in the way and I'm trying to do something, Jack. I'm trying to do something. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You are very sweet. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to put the pieces together, but it just doesn't make sense. We'll probably have to get all the endings to understand. Would you, would you move here, here? Let's go, go up this way. It says final battle. We'll see. And there he goes again. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try this, Jack, okay? You just you just hang out there. Oh, maybe it's done. All right. Oh, are we going to fight? この塔は月面の人類サーバーを狙った巨大砲台だ。このままだと人類の残存データが破壊されるだろう。ミョン。もうどうでもいいんだよ。ミョン。そんなこと知ってた僕らはこの世界に必要ないんだ。人類はもう
バンカーに仕掛けられたバックドアは一定時間で起動司令官も僕もトゥービーも全部捨て駒だったんだよおかしいよね笑えるよねナインエス私うるさい君はトゥービーを殺したじゃないかそれだけで十分だよ僕たちが殺し合う理由なんてトゥービーは苦しんでいたよ君を殺し続けることを<笑>高機能モデルの 9S タイプが真実に到達することは予見されていた彼女のトゥービーというモデル名は偽装だ正式名称はトゥービー Oh. 2号機 E 型ヨルハ機体を処刑するために用意された部隊の一員本当は気づいていたんだろうナインエスうるさい、That's、right. うるさい They said they were gonna use the models. お前に言ったで、uh. 僕たちの何がわかるって言うんだ He's going to destroy the pod. Wow, so we are going to fight? Who am I? Please make your choice. Wow. Well, we're going to pick 9S then. So that hopefully he can. Hopefully we can get that stabbing thing out of the way. And I. Is, is this C and this is D? I guess we'll find out in a second. Are you sure? Well. Yeah. Understood. Why is she 50, though? Oh, she loses, uh... Wait, what is this? What does this say? I guess it doesn't say anything. So she loses hacking over time. That makes sense, actually. Whoa. Oh. Oh, damn, she's using all this stuff. Whoa! Yep, he's losing it. Well. Destroy what? The server? The moon? Wow, a minute, huh? Wow, all right. Well, that explains why the time is so long. So he was made... That's crazy. So 2B was designed to kill 9S, I guess. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 
he got stabbed too. Man, he looks freaking crazy. what he wanted though he chose the path of self-destruction on purpose fatal system error detected I mean that's why he wasn't um you know when you you know your data is being corrupted or whatever and you're just like um it's fine it's fine I don't I don't care about that I care more about revenge than I, I, than I do about saving myself. Well, that's what he, he chose. Memory leak verified, repair impossible. Beginning emergency evacuation of remaining memories. Where are you going now, Jack? You get in my lap and then you wanna leave. I'm. My name. That's a lot of typing. It's probably the individual little slices of the kanji that's appearing. My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th. Whoa. Didn't they say it was the year 9000 or something? Or 8,000 or something? 11,942. Rolled at 425 AM bunker time. I will fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding white. The pain is gone. The light envelops me. It's so warm. I was anxious. A soldier from the moment I was born, thrown into the world alone. Nothing to rely on. No god to believe in. I was alone. Tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gather intelligence. In the fog. In the flames. Alone. My name is 9S. I'm here to provide support. 2B came off as being rather aloof. Cold, even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. That's why she said this always happens. Not because she keeps killing him, although apparently she does. Probably all scanner units, but because... She keeps killing her friends, or, you know. I guess she didn't want to be attached to someone she had to kill again and again and again. But I... Scanners like me mostly work alone, scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner, it's kind of fun. I was so happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens. I start to lose my memories. The space fills up with pure white light. It's like buried in snow. Being buried in snow. It's a bit cold. It's a little bit frightening. Will my soul disappear? A dark flaw, dark, a dark fog clouds my vision. As it ebbs and flows in its slow dreamlike way, it gradually takes human shape. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. This tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us androids. They saw Adam and Eve. They saw how we lived, considered the meaning of existence, came to a different concu conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery. It fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander an empty sky for eternity. 
It's all the same to the girls. For them, time is without end. Adam and Eve are inside the Ark, so they're backed up. Eve is asleep. Adam holds him in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling at me. I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. Looks like the damage has spread to my motor functions as well. Will you come with us? asks Adam. The question was completely free of malice. It seemed I no longer... Excuse me. It seemed I... <laughs> seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. Yeesh. What have I been fighting for? Who have I been living for? That's the better question. I don't know anymore. I try to speak my mind, but the world words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't... I can't remember my name. I'm... Mustering all my strength, I force out the words. I'll go with you or I'll stay. Everyone else is dead. You may as well. I'll go with you. We, Yorha, have no right to remain in this world. Oh. <laughs> uh, he's the only one left, though. There it goes. Yeah, they're all dead. There's the resistance. Oh yeah, the resistance is still alive. What ending? D, childhood's end. It's reversed. So what is, is the D ending? Is it just your... Like, what's the D ending? Versus the C ending, I mean, is it A2? Is that all that is? Or is it that you stay? I mean, because he's dying anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. So, so when did the machines change their mind? That's the question. Interesting, though. Interesting that 2B wasn't 2B. She was 2E. That's crazy. I didn't expect that. Motion capture from the Japan Extreme Martial Arts Association. That's awesome. But it makes sense, because all their movements are amazing. Like, no shit, their, their movements. Everything looks super slick. You know, they're running, they trip over stuff. Not even that, you turn directions and they kind of like skid and put their hands down to steady themselves. Top notch. Okay, so these are the facts as 
as I think I understand them. The machines were... Man, I don't even know. I was gonna say the machines were created by the aliens, but I don't... Maybe the machine life forms were? But the androids were there before... Because the androids were created by the humans. Originally. So... So I don't know. I guess that's not super important. I mean, it's it's probably machines were created by by humans and then co-opted by the aliens. Um, Probably co-opted by the aliens at the very end, I would imagine, because Emil fought off lots of aliens, apparently. Or... I, I guess the aliens basically won, because Emil said he was... Like, so many of his people were defeated, right? Machines were, or machine life, I guess, was probably created by the aliens, like at the end, presumably at the end of the conflict. Uh, and then they evolved and uh, took them out, right? They said they were weak. Did they say they were weak like plants? Or what did they say? They said they were like plants, but something, something like plants. Don't know. What happens now? Achieve 9S is ending. Okay. Cool. It says leaving for the new world. To be sword and 9S's little pack. Chapter select can now be accessed from the title screen and access points. Huh. Why? So you can re-get any quests or uh, potentially... Okay, so we know chapter or end D is 9S's ending. Although it apparently accept, or expects that you'll choose to leave. Debug menu can now be accessed by pressing. Oh, why would I do that? Right trigger and back. Acc activating the debug menu will disable all save functionality until you load any save data. You can now use the debug room. It can be accessed from the start menu. At the debug room, you can use the debug menu to freely place enemies. Meh. Items obtained, Heavy Armor A, Heavy Armor B, Camouflage Goggles, A2 Wig. The Strange Resistance Woman has a new topic to talk about. Talk to her at the Resistance Camp to find out what it is. How to get Ending E, presumably. Save, yes. Um, We'll save over this one. If we could do Chapter Select, that's, uh, that's not a problem. We'll just choose the final chapter and then get ending C right and then it'll be like oh to get music changed or maybe vocals anyway 
Anyway, guys, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, yeah, this was this was good. I'm not done with it, obviously. There's still a couple endings to go. Um, a little bit more is explained. That's good to know. Um, some of my earlier things still do apply about... Uh, being designed with that everything's accessible by everything else which means it's not secure um although uh now we know i guess maybe that's not because you could say well it's designed that way on purpose so that all the bunker in your gets taken down all at once Weird. Very weird. Anyway, yeah, like I said, thanks. Thanks so much. I'm a little... I have to think about this. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment? Uh, for me, it's a, uh, you know, some days I do the sauna, some days I, I soak in the bathtub, do like a little muscle soak with, uh, like some Epsom salt and other stuff. This today was, uh, I don't know, it's Dr. Teal's, that's the brand. They have different kinds, and this was the hemp oil one, which is like Epsom salts, hemp oil, some other oils. Um, it smelled good, and I felt really relaxed afterwards, so it was all right. I mean, no THC or anything, obviously. That's, that's not the case, but, um, you know, cats seem to like the smell too, so that's great. That's great. I mean, that's my unique positive moment. So hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.